Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Alex here and before we get started with this video please press already the like button because it will help the video grow, it will help the channel grow and I really want to get to a hundred likes on this video if possible quite fast. Now I want to talk about a very important thing, I want to talk about the way you should present yourself to an interview and not only that is also the way you present yourself in society because you know, we're not talking about vanity here necessarily. We're not talking about being narcissistic by any means. No, we're talking about properly representing yourself in society the way you look. And for that, it's important to have a good hairstyle. Even as a guy, even as a, a woman, as a lady, it's very important to have a proper hair, hairstyle. And also your teeth, your smile, you know, the way you engage with people oftentimes you smile at them and then they smile back. It's a social thing from the beginning of the world, right? So the way you carry yourself matters a lot in this regard. Now, my last haircut was a total mess. I went uh, in a place in Abu Dhabi that, you know, it's um, not, not very fancy. And I got a hairstyle at an open salon because with this coronavirus, it's quite hard to get a, a haircut nowadays, right? So I found just a random, a completely random open salon. And I went there and I said to the guy, you know, hey mate, uh, you know, just, I need a haircut. He didn't speak English very well. He didn't understand what I wanted. So in the end, I end up with this kind of hair. And it's a bit of a problem, but still two weeks after that haircut, you know, I, I can still manage to do a proper hairstyle. The way I do my hairstyle is, I take the wet hair and I brush it at the same time as I'm drying it up with the hair dryer. So I always, always use a hair dryer. And back in the day, I even used one of those hair straighteners, the hot ones kind of things, but I don't use it anymore. And after I dry it out, it looks kind of like this, right? It's already dried out. It's already uh, looking quite well. And then what I do is I apply this kind of thing. This cream is a uh, hair cream. It's incredibly cheap. It's so cheap, guys. Uh, it's like around uh, eight dirhams uh, per one of those. And I can buy it at any store in Abu Dhabi. And it works very well for me. Also, after I apply this stuff, I take the brush, I do it again. You know, I put my hair on one side again, and then probably, not all the time, but many times I'll just put a hairspray just to fix things in place. I always kind of want to have a classy hairstyle look, a classy type of hairstyle. It's very important, especially if you work as a flight attendant, you want your hairstyle to be classy and nice. You don't want to have a freaking mohawk or something, right? You want classy, good hairstyle, a hairstyle that your freaking parents your parents would be proud of it, <laughs> right? No, I'm, but I'm serious, I'm serious. Hairstyle and grooming is part of each flight attendant's life and it really matters a lot uh, the way you present yourself to the customers uh, as well as your colleagues, uh, the way you are seen in the company. And now let's talk about smile. <laughs> Smile is also very important, as I said before, is the way to communicate with other people. It's a social thing, it's a, body, um, um, it's a body communication method, right? You smile, they smile back. I smile to a pretty girl, you know, she smiles back, that means she might like me. So that's the way it is since the beginning of the world. Now, what do I use to have a good smile, to have good teeth? Well, first of all, um, regular visits to the, to the dentist are very important. And disclaimer, I have quite bad teeth in reality. My molars in the back, they're screwed up. I have really bad, bad mastication molars. So the, the ones in the back, they're, they're not very uh, good, but I maintain them, you know, I put in the fillings, I do my job, right? I do my work, I go to the dentist, and, um, you know, if your teeth aren't straight, it's good to go. Straighten them up. Uh, they will put you that uh, brace. Is it brace? Yeah, it's called a brace. They will put you a brace. And then after like a few months or a couple of years, you'll be shining and rocking your new 
uh, feet. Um, the question that everybody asks me on my channel, because I have a channel that's mainly focused on flight attendant stuff, uh, cabin crew interviews and so on and so forth. Does the smile matter as an interview? Um, short answer would be yes. Is it written anywhere that's a requirement to have a good smile? Um, not really. They don't say, hey, have nice white teeth. No, but I would say, if, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, it does matter. Having proper dental care and showcasing your nice smile always matters at an interview. Let's face it, it's the truth. Okay then, but what do I use to keep this nice smile? Just a regular toothpaste, um, kind of a natural toothpaste without fluoride. I don't agree with fluoride or chemicals in my toothpaste, so then I just use something natural. You can go for, like, I don't know, vegan stuff or whatever. Um, the only thing, you know, it must be a kind of a natural type of toothpaste. That's what I like. I don't like the commercial ones um, for a few uh, reasons. As a flight attendant, I do my job and I enjoy communicating with customers, you know, I enjoy uh, uh, talking to people, I enjoy uh, the social aspect of the job. I'm not afraid to smile at people, you know, that's that's one of the, the best things as a cabin crew, right? You must keep your smile on and um, sometimes it's hard, sometimes uh, you feel like work is hard and you don't feel like smiling and you're tired and you're nuts. But still, as a flight attendant, we are smiling. <laughs> we're smiling and we're going on no matter what. So if you want to apply for the job of a cabin crew in the near future or the distant future, because we all know the Corona stuff now, it's kind of difficult to get an interview. But if you want to apply, yeah, smiling matters. It's a, the perfect opportunity for you to um, go to the dentist, get treatment, get a proper teeth, you know, get a brace if needed. So then it will be much easier at an interview. It will be much easier uh, while applying for a job. Now, guys, I will make this the end of my video. Please, as I said before, leave a thumbs up, a like to this video. Let's get those 100 likes started. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please do so. This is the Instagram profile right here. Um, please, of course, share your feelings about this video. Comment below if you have any thoughts. Until next time, my name is Alex. See you on the next one.